Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Deathmark. So we have met the new ghost with the scissor feet. Like Edward Scissor Hands. But Kashiwa scissor hands. Alright, let's continue. I'm definitely going to need to like replay the first game or rewatch the first game because I, I I like vaguely remember these. We're in the middle stage already? Dang. Okay. So, we just... I really hope that we didn't miss a tooth at that last stop. I, I'm thinking that each stop will be, like, a uh, part of the, the story. Because if she, like, died on the bus, then in, like, in between that... But, uh, let's, uh, let's do some trading. Oh! I've been given a new sacred object. Reduce two damage. Oh, does it just, it's just an upgrade, isn't it? Well, I want the health. Yeah, oh no. This one not? No. Maybe that was the health, this one was the health. I mean, I can get two. It, it already seems a little easy, but whatever. Okay. Let's see what. Need a little refresher. I pick up the landline phone in the infirmary and punch in the number for Kujo Mansion. Oh, right, we're talking to the Otaku. Is that you, Mr. Yasuki? Yeah, you must have been waiting for my call. Why did you wait until now to call? I was getting bored scrolling through forums and almost left the place, you know? I calm Eita down and explain the current situation. Heh, that must be rough. So it's my turn now, huh? What do you want me to look into? I don't know why I... Kuzo Manson at night is so freaking creepy! This building is so old and spacious, I feel like something's gonna pop out! Eh? You'll get used to that feeling. Really? I want you to solve this case before I have to get used to anything like that. Why'd you, why'd you offer to come over then? Kashima. Find any information related to Slit Mouth Kashima? Once again, I do not like this name. Okay, give me a sec. I'm checking it out. There's a post about Slipmouth Kasima and the Eight Spirit Thread. Looks like it was a really hot topic in the past. Is there any new information there? I mean, it looked relatively new considering her grave that was like flowers and, and whatnot there. Like, well, like, you know. It pretty much lines up with the rumor you told me earlier. But this post includes a story about a student who became the Kasima and the rumors. It's from an unknown source, though. No telling if it's true or someone just posting garbage. That's fine. Who's supposedly Kashima? They Kashima. Didn't we hear that name? A female student from Konohara Academy who mm, herself five years ago. Unfortunately, it doesn't say anything about why she did that, but it was like a hairdresser. Like, everyone was leaving, like, Hairdressing scissors as offerings and stuff. So this female student became Ka slit mouth Kashima due to the grudge from her life. I need to find out what Rei Kashima's grudge is. I love how you just automatically assume that it's her. I mean, it probably is. Ada! Check if there's any Konohara Academy students who want a gold prize in any kind of competition. It doesn't have to be recent. Event, recent. Events from years ago are fine too. Okay. Give me a sec. Got it. I could only find one though. That's fewer than I thought. 
Yeah, the school's a prep school, so they're not all that invested in club activities. Anyways, who's the winner? Megumi Manabe. He won a gold prize in an art contest. What about her? She might be the next target. Can you find her address or phone number? I hope we can contact her. <sighs> That'd be tough to track down since it's private information. Just having a potential lead on Gold Prize's identity is a win in my book. Let's assume Anabe is Gold Prize and proceed with the investigation. Hathima is said to be that girl's spirit. That's all I could find quickly. The internet has lots of information, but it's not on this end. Talk to you later. Bye! So basically, you told us something we already learned from Bug Girl. Rei Kashima, a student who may be Kashima. Megumi Manabe, a student who may be the gold prize. Both of them attended Konehara five years ago. It'd be unlikely to find a current student who had useful information about them. But, Sakamoto's been at this school for a long time. Her knowledge might be key. Is he literally in every single thing? Let's take him again. I'm going to talk to a... The teacher. Also, that guy's terrified of spirits. <laughs> uh, Sakamoto's the only one left in the faculty room. Judging by all the papers piled up on her desk, she's probably pulling overtime. Still investigating ghosts, Mr. Yashiki? What business do you have here? Just letting you know ahead of time, you're not going to find any spiritual phenomena here. There's something I want to ask you. Can you not see I'm busy with work? You're interrupting me. Please get out. Wait, someone's life is at stake. There might be more victims, like Horikoshi. <gasps> Horikoshi, huh? The day you were investigating her, she disappeared. You're claiming a spirit did that. Exactly as you say, Hanako of the toilet killed her. Even though the headmaster told me to keep it secret, I've got no choice. I had to play that card to have any hope of convincing her. Mr. Yashiki, I don't believe in the supernatural. Do you expect me to simply take your word on that? This is precisely why I was against the headmaster's idea of appointing you as a teacher here. And my stance hasn't changed. Your background ability looks Looks? What's wrong with my looks? None of them are suitable for a vulnerable institution. You're wrong. Oh? Pretty sure of yourself, I see. Let me be perfectly clear. I cannot stand your presence. She likes you. Just, I don't know. Sakamoto just came out and made it clear. This is going about as well as I expected. However, you said someone's life is at stake, and I can't just ignore that. It has nothing to do with my beliefs or my feelings about you. This is about my core morality as a human being. I would say the departed is definitely not her since she hates us, but that could be a ruse, so keep an options open. A teacher has to set an example for their students. So are you going to help us? Very begrudgingly. Yes. What do you want to ask me? I mean, literally, I'm taking like five minutes of your freaking precious time. She has lots of rabbits on her. You notice that? Rabbit. Rabbit. There's been something I'm curious- Oh! Funny. I've been curious about. Your necklace and wristwatch both have rabbits on them. 
You like rabbits or something? Ah, uh, usagi tomotachi. Daisuke yo. That's. I'm not going to answer such a private question. Obviously, she likes rabbits. No, it's just. I'm just feeling a little nostalgic. My late sister really loved rabbits. That's all. Oh, I see. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, there was a black rabbit. The black rabbit who, we, like, had the red eyes, who we thought was evil, but ended up being, like, our sister's spirit or something. All right, Kashima. That's the ghost story that was the talk of the campus five years ago, isn't it? I don't really know the details since I'm not interested. Are you familiar with a girl named Megumi Manabe, Miss Sakamoto? She's an alumnus who won a gold prize in an art contest five years ago. <gasps> Miss Sakamoto? I don't really remember. It's been five years. I can't just ignore the fact that she froze for a moment there. She's hiding something she doesn't want to talk about. Poker. Slitmouth Kashima is rumored to be Rei Kashima who <laughs> five years ago. Indeed. That rumor was quite prolific back then. How unfortunate and imprudent. Thing is, is that five years ago, her flowers, like I said, at the grave, and there was like new offer. I don't know. I want to know more about that incident. What happened to Rei Kashima? Sorry, but I've already forgotten about it. What kind of adult would be interested in a ghost story concocted by some kids? She literally was completely useless. Say, Mr. Yashiki, you should read the school newspaper from back then if you want to learn more about Slipmouth Kashima. The school newspaper, you say? Yes. The newspaper club collected rumors circulating around the school and compiled them into an article. School new newspapers are stored in a special archive in the library. I thank Sakamoto and leave the teacher's room. Go to the library! According to Sakamoto, there should be a school newspaper from five years around here. There may be some useful information about Slit Mouth Kashima. Let's find them. Me, 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 me. Hmm. I'm not going to read all of these because, yes. frankly, I don't care. Special books. Oh, there we go. Konehara Academy School Newspaper is written on the spine of one of the books. This is it. Let's have a look. Inside, I find original copies of the newspapers placed in chronological order. Rumors about Kashima were making the rounds five years ago. Let's find articles from that time. I find two articles that look promising. Which one should I read? Is Miss K's death the revenge of the dead? Is Miss S's disappearance the dead's doing? Miss K from the third year is said to have disappeared from the main gate, according to a who, person who witnessed the event. I saw a bunch of scissors poking out of Miss K's body. She didn't look alive to me. For some reason, police completely disregarded the brave witness's testimony and treated this case as a simple misses, missing person case. Sadly, it appears we'll never know the truth. Just before her death, Miss K went to a cemetery to visit a grave to pay respect after her recent mm. the two of them didn't get along well so many assumed she only went there to score some brownie points with her teacher if Kashima held some resentment against her she would have definitely seen through her and she would have definitely taken revenge considering the way Miss K was killed and how her corpse went missing one would not be surprised to think of that it was the work of something supernatural it seems obvious that Miss K was murdered by the late Kashima's grudge. 
This one seems to have important information. I feel bad, but I'm going to need to borrow this without permission. Why? Nobody's gonna fucking read this. It's like five years old. Word around the school is that Mrs. H, Miss H has gone missing. A search warrant has been issued and the police are currently investigating the case. Miss H was last seen in front of the gymnasium. Rumor has it she was trying to run away from something, looking back over her shoulder several times while she ran. She fled inside the gymnasium and was never seen again. Police checked the building, yet there was no trace of Miss S. The reasons for that are obvious. There's no way she would be found. Kashima's grudge killed Miss S, so her corpse should have disappeared from this world. Same as what happened to Miss K. To normal people, these articles might seem like nothing more than groundless rumors, but when you dig deeper, we actually have some solid evidence since Miss K and Miss S's cases have many things in common. Both of them were third years, Kashima too. Both of them were in the art club, Kashima too. Both of them didn't get along with Kashima. Both of them visited her grave. Kashima might have turned into slit mouth. Kashima claimed a vengeance. Note. Kashima's a spirit form is slit mouth Kashima, similar to the slit mouth woman. But she doesn't even have a slit mouth, it's her legs. I put the newspaper arch archive back onto the bookshelf. What a tacky, unscrupulous article. Well, at least they tried to pursue the truth. I guess I'll just believe that they got the basics correct. Hmm. Hmm. Plants. Hmm. Oh. Okay. For some reason, we get after all. Now what? Infirmary. It's so annoying to be stuck in here when there are spirits around. If only the chief editor would give me the okay, I'd be accompanying you. That's it. Do you have anything else you want me to look into? Uh, here we go. It'd be difficult to find out more than what was written in the newspaper. And people five years ago didn't really use the internet the way we do now. You might have better luck asking Konohare Academy students. Okay. Okay. Let's change to him for a moment. Student council. We still haven't found Bug Girl. There's no one in the student council room. Bleh! I'm not really sure either. I mean, I guess this is the only place we can go. Where do you want me to go? Oh, I guess we can ask her. Make it quick. There we go. I show Sakamoto the two, two newspaper articles. According to this article, students K and S were killed by Slipmouth Kashima. Do you know anything about them? Let's see. S? I remember who K was supposed to be. The name of the student who disappeared in front of the school gate was Erika Kamio. What kind of student was Kamio? She was a bright student, a mood maker if you will. She was a little bit too carefree though, often scolded her for it. How about S? No clue. I've never interacted with her. But there were some students with the initial S in the art club. 
It'd be nice if we had a way to check the names from them. Just refer to the graduation yearbook from that year. The students' names and clubs are written in it. Oh, okay. And where is it? You're quite fortunate today, Mr. Yashki. Yearbooks are usually stored in the office, but I happen to have it with me today. Thank you. But why do you have it? One of the students borrowed it. They returned it today. Interesting. I wonder why. Departed. Looks like another student is interested in the graduation yearbook from five years ago. It might just be coincidence, but I can't help but wondering. I'll just tell you the name of the student since I'm certain you'd return to pester me for it later anyway. It, oh. That's the guy, isn't it? It was Abe from 3A. Here you go, Mr. Yashiki. Sakamoto picks up the yearbook from her desk and gives it to me. The yearbook is quite elegant with the emblem of Konehara Academy engraved on its red cover. Let's check out who is this old man. On the last page of the yearbook, there's a list of the year's graduates. Erika Kamio, who died prior to graduation, also has her name listed here. How kind of them, allowing a student who died a violent death to still graduate. If that's the case, S's name should be here too. I begin to list down all the art club students with the initial S. We have three candidates. The first is Hikari Shida. Second is Saiko Shinohara. Last is Miho Shinji. One of them must be student S who disappeared in the gymnasium. And, if the rumors are true, she was killed by Kashima. A note was slipped into the yearbook. It's a torn bit of paper with some things scribbled on it. Rumor has it Miss S who disappeared in the gymnasium five years ago still haunts the place. The wall in the storage room is dyed with black stains. There are traces of regret left by the dead. Vengeful spirits make their appearance known to those who take interest in them. You must never touch that stain. Student S disappeared in the gymnasium five years ago. This is the case the school newspaper mentioned. Rumor has it her spirit appears in the gymnasium storage room. The note doesn't end there. Kashima's truth is intertwined with the art club from five years prior. Therefore, to unearth her past, we need to thoroughly inspect the art rooms in the old and new building alike. The art room in the old building in particular requires heavy scrutiny. Rei Kashima used to while her away her time there often in the past. However, the building wasn't in use at that time. So what business would she have there? What kind of truth lies thence? My left eye shall discern it soon enough. We have a frickin' moody on our hands now. The writer of this note, Abe, is clearly looking into Kashima. He seems to have honed in on the art room since Kashima and the others used to be in the art club. I got no idea who the hell this Abe dude is, but he clearly knows what he's doing. Why don't we examine the art room ourselves? Right. I'm also curious about the gymnasium and the storage room that S place S haunts. Can we not? My word. How can a supposedly mature adult allow themselves to get so worked up over some ghost rumors? I'll never understand it. Because it's my job. Can you tell me where the art room and gymnasium are? There are art rooms on the second floor in both the new and old buildings, just above the music room. The gymnasium is near the special building. Here, take these keys with you. Explore to your heart's content. Oh, just one thing. There's no light in the gymnasium. Wait, isn't the gymnasium still in use? Yes, that's true. I don't understand why, but the light there acts strangely whenever night falls. We've asked the vendor to inspect it, but they never came. Well, it only happens at night, so thankfully it doesn't interfere with classes and club activities. I guess I'll be relying on my trusty flashlight while I'm exploring the gym. Almost forgot. 
Can I borrow this yearbook? Sure. Handle it with care. You're going to pay compensation if you get it dirty. Alright. I thank Sakamoto and leave the teacher's room. Alright. We have several candidate spots to explore. Where shall we begin? The gymnasium is near the special building. Should we head there first? Or should I examine the art rooms in the new and old buildings first? They're on the second floor. Let's go to the new building first. I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure these are probably locked. Thank God I don't have to run through all of them. <sighs> it looks like we really are going to be in this school. The third floor is probably something else. With one crisp twist. I like that. Crisp twist of the key, the door to the art room opens. Hmm. Oh, well. Blank canvases are placed on the shelf. This building sure is moist, huh? Not a fan. Hmm. I don't get it. This drawn isn't that old. How is it already mothin? Yoshi. Several easels surround a short podium. Is this where an art model usually stands? For nude drawings and that sort of thing. There's nothing on top of the podium and the canvases are all blank. Yeah, sure, that would happen in high school. There are a lot of coloring materials inside the cupboard. In particular, there's a lot of red. Makes me wonder what they've been drawing. Me. Hey, old man! There's something behind this cupboard. I saw a glimpse of it thanks to the flashlight. Is that a metal pencil case? Can you pick it up? Nah, nope. A stick wouldn't fit in there, much less my arm. We gotta move the cupboard first. Except this thing is so goddamn heavy! Maybe we can move it if we work together. Let's give it a shot, show. Hell yeah! Just leave the muscle work to me! I place my hand on the left edge of the cupboard while show's on the right. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Let's go! When show and I synchronize our effort, nothing moves. Nice work! Here's the pencil case. The pencil case I received from Sho is an elegant item pressed from a solid brass plate. Its owner's name is engraved upon it. Sosuke Hirose. It holds a brown pencil and a blue pencil. They're from a brand I've never heard of before. I'm guessing they're used for sketching. In order to test my hunch, I try to scribble using the pencils to see if I can detect any difference. I see. The brown pencil feels a bit smoother than the blue pencil. Seems like the pencils have different lead, so they feel different. Maybe they're used for different things? If you're that interested in them, just keep the case, old man. I should hold on to it. I do have to bring it back to the owner. You think someone just lost their case behind that heavy-ass cupboard? You're way too much of a good do-gooder sometimes. What? What? I don't get the importance of that. No, no, I'll... Okay. Yoshi. 
Yo sí. Judging from the dust on the face and shoulders. Nothing else here. Doesn't look like it. We've got pencils. Woo. The second floor's corridor should just be ahead. There's a crumpled paper in the gap between the doors. Warning! The second floor corridor is off limits! Why? Look at people making me go up and down these stairs. Just go out that way. Also, where's the bug girl? Okay, well that's the first time we got through this corridor without being... I return to the old building once again. Unreal things often occur here, as I experienced during the entire Hanako of the Toilet ordeal. May as well declare it a haunted building. Haunted places usually have some history. Some kind of unsavory events that transpired there. So, did something like that happen in this old building? Well, let's hurry up and do whatever we gotta do here quickly. This place is bad news. I don't want to stay here for too long. Let's go straight to the art room. No detours. Shell has a valid point. We've all accepted that this investigation will be life-threatening. But that doesn't mean we should take unnecessary risks. Let's, let's examine... Maybe that's telling us, like, hey, we are, you already explored this. You don't need to do it again. So you don't go running around the entire school room or school building. Hmm. The shelf is quite dusty. I guess it's been neglected for some time. There's nothing inside. Ooh, a tooth? Huh? There's something on top of the shelf. I reach up and grab the thing show spotted. It's a sketch pad. Why is it here when the old building isn't used for classes anymore? I flip the sketch pad open. The book is filled with drawings of flowers. Hydrangea on the first page, bellflowers on the second page, and cosmos on the third. Okay. The rest of the book is blank. Let me see it too. Yeah, sure. I hand the sketch pad to show. I direct my attention towards the back of the art room while they're checking out the pad. The only thing that catches my eye is a canvas on an easel. Why is that canvas just sitting there? Why wasn't it put away? It's as if someone's still using this art room. Not surprising though. You can focus on drawing without getting interrupted here. That wasn't me. What was that sound? It sounded oddly familiar. What? Oh, hey! It's the pretty girl. A female doll wearing a red... She looks like the student council girl. Wearing a red dress emerges from the darkness. She's really pretty. Set into her broken face are a pair of sparkling crimson eyes staring straight at me. No matter how hard I try to speak, I can only let out a hoarse groan as if a piece of cloth has been stuffed inside my mouth. Meanwhile, Sho keeps examining the sketch pad, unaware of the doll's presence. Once again, it's- what, what is with this guy and dolls? It's as if I'm the only one who can see her. The doll grabs my arm with her cracked right hand. <laughs> my vision goes blurry. My consciousness is fading. Is she trying to show me something?
She's the one who showed me something before, too, isn't she? What are you drawing, teacher? What's that? A flower? What do you want, Manabe? Say, you gave something to her, didn't you? Do you love her? <laughs> it's not like that. I simply want to support her future endeavor and dreams. Ooh. Go out with me, then. I put my all into winning that gold prize so you'd love me back. What are you saying? Don't joke around like that with your teacher. I'm not joking around, though. I'm being serious here. Oh, I see. Hey, what are you... Uh... Naughty, naughty. I love you. What's gotten into you, Manabe? Get away from me and put your clothes back on. I told you, I'm serious. <laughs> vision is gone and so is the female doll. I just witnessed a student trying to seduce her teacher? Since he called her Manabe, that means Manabe must be gold prize. Which also means that vision I just saw must be from five years ago. But I still don't understand. Why did that doll only show this vision to me? Hey, old man! What are you spacing out for? Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, okay. What are we gonna do with the sketch pad? That female doll appeared when I put my hands on that sketch pad. Which makes me think it's connected to Kashima's case. So the teacher is the one that drew the flowers. Huh, let's bring it with us. Unfinished. There's a small iron bucket. Did they use this to wash paintbrushes? Look at all these pebbles lying around. Nothing that catches my eye, though. Mm -hmm. There's a blank canvas on the easel. There shouldn't be anyone using this place anymore. Who put this here? I, I don't like the fact that this is here. Don't you dare say a spirit did this! One corner of the wall is dented and cracked. Black mold is going through the cracks. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. I wonder if there's something special mm -hmm. if you get all the teeth. When I open the door, ugh. Huh? A loud sound emanates from the other side of the door. The sound does something falling and breaking. The art storage room is pitch black. I can't see anything inside. Heightening my other senses, as a result, my hyper-focused hearing causes my pulse to pound in my ears. Oh, there's a wet slashing, a plopping sound. And the sound of clothes rustling. A girl whispers to her teacher in a sensual voice. There's someone in the back of the room. I slowly glide my flashlight towards the presence. Oh my god! That's freaking the bug girl! What it illuminates is a mangled, monstrous creature. Her mouth is slit from ear to ear. ear. She's also got sharp, pointed fingers resembling scissors. Whatever she is, she's not slit mouth Kashima. This is more of a slit mouth than the other girl. 
The thing looks entirely different from the an entity I saw at the cemetery. Why is it always so gross? Her tentacle-like tongue wraps around a broken plaster statue. She licks it repeatedly over and over again. She then sweetly whispers into the statue's ear. You love me too, right? Love me more than her. She's too preoccupied with the statue to even notice our presence. This is a great opportunity to run away! But wait. Her distinctive white hair and her Konohara Academy uniform. No way. Is that Michiho Kinukawa? Is she being possessed by a spirit? If that's the case, that explains her malformed appearance and lewd behavior with the statue. What? Can I please stop looking at this? Why are you not answering? Call my name. She's pleading to the statue, her voice hoarse. Her name, huh? She's transfixed by the plaster statue. There's a possibility I can trigger a reaction to distract her. Can I distract her by calling her name? Manabe! What? My voice didn't reach her? Ashima? is there too which one is my tea I don't know <laughs> yeah! possessed by Kashima Michiho lets out a scream before collapsing to the floor she's not moving at all she probably passed out her appearance has also returned to normal what what the hell was that? No, impossible. Sho was clearly shell-shocked by the supernatural incident he just witnessed. Pull yourself together, Sho. Help me get to meet Michiho back to the infirmary. Uh, okay. With the help of Sho, I lift Michiho onto my back. After that, we leave the old building. Once we return to the infirmary, we lie her down onto the bed. Mister, who is she? I tell Damon and Moy about what happened in the art room. How is she doing, Damon? Her condition is fine. No injuries and her pulse is also normal. I never expected that she'd get possessed by a spirit, though. Hey, old man! When do you think Kinokawa was possessed? That incident at a cemetery, most likely. I think that's when Slipmouth Kashima must have taken over her body. She said she'd sensed her presence so strongly back then. What? Was that why she lost consciousness? Why am I in the infirmary? You're awake. How are you feeling? I I'm fine. Why am I here? I explain the sequence of events to the confused Michiho, including what happened in the art storage room. It's probably shocking and embarrassing for her, but I have to. I'm in dire need of any information regarding slit mouth Kashima. Oh, I see. So all of that wasn't a dream. Do you remember? Not that clearly, though. You have questions for me, don't you? Ask away. You mean after I got on the bus, right? I really wasn't feeling well, so I rode the bus straight back to school. But when I was about to go to the dorm, I heard that voice. What voice? The one from the rumor, you know. Yukami Oshinjimo no Bai. 
Before long, my mind began to drift and I don't really remember anything afterward. The voice in my head told me to go there. Teacher's waiting in the old building's art room. Who's the teacher? They didn't say a name, but now that I think about it, it doesn't make any sense, huh? But at that time, I didn't think about it at all. So I just went to the art room. Uh. Her expression turns grim. Even though she was possessed, she still disgraced herself in front of others. She's flighty and free-spirited, but she's still a child. She probably doesn't want to recall it. You don't have to answer my question if you don't want to. That's not it. I have no memories of what I did to the statue. But I, I remember hugging a man. He was lean and quite good looking. But nothing compared to you, Mr. Yashki. So what you saw was a human? Correct. The moment I laid my eyes on him, I couldn't control my passion. I guess that's what you call love, don't you think? I don't know. Summarizing all the information I got from Michiho, led by Kashima's voice, she went to the old building's art room. The voice told her teacher is waiting there. And when she got there, she found an attractive man that was actually a plaster statue. She felt an intense passion for him as if she was madly in love with him. If the feelings I had belonged to Kashima, that means she was in love with his teacher. She took over my body to meet him. That's all I can say, I guess. Does that help? Hmm. But Manabe was the one in the... the vision we had. Yeah, thank you. So Kashima loved a teacher. Even after death, her feelings remained strong. If her feelings weren't reciprocated, that love could have turned into hatred. If we can find out who that teacher is, that'd be a big step towards discovering Kashima's grudge. I'll be going home then. As much as I want to help, I'm too tired after all that. I don't want to be a hindrance. Want me to see you to the dorm? No, it's fine. I can't trouble you more than this. But what if something happens to you? Are you worried about me? I'm flattered. Anyway, if something does happen, I'm sure you'll come save me. Bye-bye. She's sus as hell. Michiho waves her hand excitedly before leaving. The heck? Does she have no shame? What a self-centered and pushy chick. I'm so close to replying. You're the one to talk, but I hold my tongue. Shall we resume our investigation, Yashiki? We'd better take a close look at the art storage room Kinikawa was in. There might be some clues about this teacher. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going until we finish the gym, but let's switch to him. Because we could have went to both, so let's go back. Um... Why can't I just immediately go to the old building? Like, why make me run all this way? about those things. <laughs> They're good at waking you up, though. Mm -hmm. There's a steel cupboard which has clearly been through some things, judging by the dents on the door. The door doesn't buzz at all when I try to open. The rail seems to be buckled. Heh. <sighs> Guess it's my turn now. Thanks, Damon. Damon wraps his fingers around the handle and gives it a forceful tug. 
And just like that, he easily opens the door. Way easier than opening up a patient. Blah! There's a notebook inside the cabinet. It's a ring binder with a fancy cover. Oh, oh, S-H. <laughs> there are jump stairs going into the menu, too? <laughs> I thought there was actually something happening. You can't mess with me like that. Uh... What happened to the... The case. I don't, I can't, the, the pencils don't have a thing on them anymore. This is important, softly, soft. It's a ring binder with a fancy cover, the initials H, SH are engraved on it. There are entries written inside the binder. It looks like a diary. Hold on, let me, um. S H S H S H S H. Shira Hikari? No. The letters etched by pencil are filled with warmth and softness. I find some familiar names on the last page of the diary. Rei Kashima is a passionate student. Unlike other female students, her eyes are not just fixed on me, but also the work I am doing on the canvas. Though the paintings she submits are always lacking in technique, it is easy for anyone to see that they have painted in earnest. For me, spending quality time by myself in the old building's art room and focusing on my drawings are the happiest moments of my daily life. I told Kashima this yesterday. Then she asked me to permit her to draw next to me and promised that she wouldn't bother me. Kashima said she wanted to be a hairdresser like her mother. Growing up with a single mother, she must really look up to her mom. I'd like to support her dream, so I gave her hairdresser scissors on her birthday. She was really pleased with the gift and said that she considered it her treasure. I lost my favorite pencil case. Where could it have gone? I really loved the muted glow of the brass. Aww. Kashima offered to get me a new one. It was a nice thought, but it an inappropriate one. It seems I've gotten way too close to her. I need to tread carefully. Kashima asked me to draw three of her favorite flowers. Hydrangea, bellflowers, and cosmos. At her behest, I drew some rough sketches of the flowers. She should understand my feeling towards her after seeing which flower I drew flirt first. What do hydrangeas mean? Hold on, must know. Google. Does, I think maybe friendship. Hydrangea meaning in Japan. Apology and gratitude? Hmm. Um, okay. So this is an article that I have. So 
Hydrangea shall represent allegiance, gratitude, and sincerity towards others. In Japan, this flower has a historical tradition of apology and gratitude. When I was in college, a friend once told me that I could send him a hydrangea instead of refusing to return his love. Okay, so he was refusing to return her love. Ooh, this might be a tricky one because he didn't love her. Oh, maybe Diamond knows and we didn't have to Google, but oh, whatever. I'll use flower language to convey my feelings. Quite the romantic, I see. What's the floriography for hydrangea bellflowers and cosmos? Don't ask me. I only know about bones and muscles. There may be a book of... Uh, we're gonna figure out about it anyways. But I was curious. I wanted to know. Hydrangea bellflowers and cosmos. They're the same flowers drawn in the sketch pad we found in the art room. They must be the sketches this diary was referring to. Mm -hmm. A statue of someone with a muscular body. Its bulky torso and arms are stained with mold. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Ooh. Feel bad for that. When a shattered plaster figure is lying on the floor. When Michiha was possessed by Kashima, she was hugging this statue thinking it was her teacher. Time to inspect. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something useful. I need a detective hat and glasses for my Sora-chan. Upon examining it, I find something that doesn't look like the rest of the statue fragments. Oh. Okay, I got excited. Just a tooth. Alright, there's a gap behind it. Hmm? I turn my flashlight towards the gap and find something small rolling in the back. Inspect! Ah. Uh, be if I had something thin to stick in there. Pencil! I use the item to extend my reach and fish the small thing out of the gap. You know it's a tooth when you hear that, like... Sound. Okay, well, I think that's it. We didn't find anything related to the. Oh no, we did find the. Right. Yay! Uh, we found the diary. So I think S must be the teacher? That's. I can't believe that's a coincidence. Alright, let's head to the gymnasium. How do we get to the gymnasium? Oh, so. Through the special build. Oh, we just gotta run all of them with that. Wait, what? This corridor terrifies me because I always get accosted by that stupid girl. Possibly man. I really think it's M Michiho, that's, that's my only that. <laughs> Those jump scares really don't do anything, but I, I do appreciate the option to just turn them off. It's like, it, I'm fine with them because it like keeps you on your toes in a way. It's like, ah! Wake up, you're investigating ghosts! I leave the special building and walk to the gymnasium. We'll keep the doctor in my party, except it seems like he's there for all of them, so I'd rather have the person who's not there for all of them, but... He seems like a scaredy cat, so... The light doesn't work at night, huh? Is it a spiritual disturbance or something? Perhaps? Chills rack my spine. I have a very bad feeling all of a sudden. But there's no turning back now. Oh. My. God. What in the... What is this feeling? I feel strange chills. And an intense pressure the moment I enter the gymnasium. <coughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> the 
departed's laugh is ringing in my head. Is this also part of their curse? Staying here for too long won't do me any good. I'd better end the investigation quickly. Cursed places. Once you enter a cursed place, your spirit will decrease, if you, even if you simply stand in the area. What? An escape from danger. The source of a curse. When places are cursed, there is always a source. Explore your vicinity while paying close attention to your remaining spirit. Oh my god, we're taking like a point of damage a second. Okay, well at least that something small falls to the floor. Ew, it's like black. I can feel severe chills radiating from my palm. Is the severe cold being generated by this tooth a curse? Yashki, is this thing perhaps what's making us ill? Yeah, I think so. Isn't it better to throw it away then? Wait, how about we just smash it? I put the cursed tooth on this floor and quietly step on it. The cursed tooth shatters into pieces. I hear a frustrated, well that was easy, scream and then my chills subside. Stop ping the curse. In order to stop the curse, you need to shatter the cause of the phenomenon, the curse too. That was easy. Okay. Woo, we win. <laughs> ah, ghost face! Can you guys spot the ghost face? Inside the room, all kinds of sports equipment for a PE class have been arranged. This seems like it's the storage room. Well perceived. Since we've come all the way here, let's examine this place thoroughly. Beep. That seems oh, yeah. ominous. There are black stains across the wall. Is this what Abe was referring to with that bit about the walls dyed with black stains in his note? He surely examined it well. It looks like the black stains are oozing from the wall. What's causing this? Dust? Defective building materials? Mold? Even after examining it closely, I still can't tell what it is. Yasuki, is it just me or does that stain resemble a face? Yep. Now that he mentions it, the stain does kind of look like a human face. Abe mentioned this in his note. The wall in the storage room is dyed with black stains. They are traces of regret left by the dead. Vengeful spirits make their appearance known to those who take interest in them. And you must never touch that stain. Huh? Touch! Alright, let's look around first and then we'll touch it. Yoshi. A sloppily folded mat. Ha, huh, take that, students. Ew. Fine, but be careful. I put my feet on the vaulting box in front of me with one hand on the mat. And then I swiftly flip it over at once. Aha! Ew! A massive swarm of black things bursts out, scattering everywhere. <coughs> that startled me. Those were insects, right? And bugs! Bugs! Probably. My theory is getting stronger. I find... There was no... I like that sound. Oh. Oh. Yoshi. Boru? You read about it. <gasps> Nothing? Okay. Touch it! Hey, when I touch it. Bitch! I step further in inside, approaching the stains. Are you going to give it a try? Never change. <laughs> Ooh, ah, 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 like 
cautiously extend my fingers and touch the snake. Will a vengeful spirit really appear? I love the slow dots. Ah, oh, seems like nothing happened. I guess this rumor was a baseless one. I'll take that. I hear something. The sound of someone moaning, I think. Ew! What the? Ha! Oh my god. <laughs> she looks so ridiculous. Before I know it, she's already there. A female student with scissors piercing both of her eyes. Is this the vengeful spirit from the rumor? Is it just me or are the scissors piercing through their head? Strangely huge. I mean, her head is also huge. Could this be the spirit of student S who went missing in this gymnasium? The fact that she appears this way means... What should we do, Yashki? Should we get out of here? No. We're looking for the truth behind Kashima. We can't leave now. I have no idea. I mean... Am I dead? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're dead. <laughs> I read that so nonchalantly, but... <laughs> What should I do? Uh... How shall I tell the spirit about her death? I gotta relook at these. Uh, newspaper article A. Uh, Miss K. So it's, uh, newspaper art article B is Miss S. Um, and then yearbook. But we don't know which one it is. I don't think it's, um, the SH because I think that's the teacher. The, that's so scary. I can't, I don't have the pencil case anymore for some stupid reason. So I can't see what his name is. But maybe, I don't, how are we supposed to know which one it is? Killed by Kashima. Let's see with what with the diamond. Killed by Kashima. Let's do that. Killed by Kashima. Let's try that. We show newspaper article B to the spirit and point to the cause of death. She's a freaking spirit. She's probably like, what is this? But I don't know what else to do. If the student in this article is you, then your death was caused by Kashima. Eight. I'm afraid. Kashima. I knew it. Kashima had something to do with her death. Yay! I don't know either. I'm sorry. Did she just ask, who am I? I guess she doesn't even remember her own name. I don't know how we're supposed to know this one. I mean, I could try the SH one, just like, but I, I don't think that's, because I think that's the, 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 the freaking. I don't know. I think AHS is, is, I mean, let's, let, let's just take a, a, a quick gander, shall we? So, that girl was the, the prize winner. Is there anything in here, search point? I don't know. Both of them were third years, but we, we wrote down all of the ones it could have possibly have been. So, I don't know how to figure 
figured this one out. Like this says SH, but like I'm pretty sure this is the teacher. So you don't know. Oh, there's a note written by Abby inside the album. Miss H who oh that doesn't help us. Therefore, to, we need to thoroughly inspect the art room and the old new buildings. The art room in the old building in particular requires heavy scrutiny. Rei Kashima used to while her way at time. What kind of truth lies there? I mean, we could just try SH, but I feel bad because I don't think that's what it is, but I don't have anything else to go on. Like, I don't know what else it could be. This isn't right, because this one was the first one, and she didn't die here. And I, I don't think it's her, because I think she's not dead yet. Let's just go for it. Let's try it. I'm, I'm, I don't feel good about it, so and if I have to just, like, trying to let her know her name. I, I don't think this is, this is right, but I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Your name is written in the album. Hikari Shida from the art club. No, that's not right. How am I supposed to know this? Is it gonna give me a hint? Don't kill me. Who is the student S who has been haunting the gymnasium? There might be clues among all the information we have collected, especially with rumors regarding Kashima. Okay, fine. We'll look at the spirit file. Kashima. New notice arrived. This time the extra figures and we learned rumor and born slip off Kashima who is said to appear on a bus that connects the school and M Tower, especially if someone gets off the bus. Kashima appears along with ear metallic scraping sound. You come here, Shinji Mode, a pitch, catch you. It's not helpful at all. Um, character file. Seto Kai Fuku Kai Chou no Kinukawa Michiho des. Uma, Kurushu na. Otoko te honto kou nai de wa Tongaku en no kisoku ni shitagatte kudasai ne. Okay, like, I, I could see, like, but I, I don't know what I'm missing because word around school is that Miss 8 S has gone missing. A search warrant has been issued and... Both of them were third years, both of them were in the art club, both of them didn't get along. Both of them visited her to her grave. I don't know how to know these things. Like, does it say? It doesn't say. It just says... That. All I can think to do is to just freaking guess here. Yes. Yes. Unless it is Manabe, and then it's very misleading. If there's something I'm missing, then I don't know. We're just guessing at this point of which one your name it is. No. Well, what? Maybe 
it is the Nabe, but I don't understand why that would be. If we do this, see, you can click on Megumi Manabe, but I don't... I don't understand how that has anything to do with Article B. Let's try this last one, and then we'll try that one. I mean, she does kind of look like the girl from the picture. to know that like I'm I'm genuinely curious how we're supposed to know that just guessing literally I mean I could conclude that it's probably not sh from the fact that the teacher is sh and so it's probably not the same person victim s the ghost of Miho Shinji disappears The face is still there. I don't like that. I'm unsatisfied. There's something lying on the ground where the spirit stood earlier. It's a folded piece of note paper. Adorable pink paper filled with small letters. Dear Mr. Hirose, I was so happy when I got that birthday present from you. I really treasure it. Okay. This teacher needs to learn how to um not give students presents especially girls like come on man i kind of blame this asshole like you're leading them on i really treasure it and it really tells me how you feel about me because you're an adult you can't say the words right but that's fine with me i can feel that our hearts are connected I love you as much as you love me. It's a shame my graduation is still so far away. Once I graduate, we will no longer be student and teacher. We can stand beside one another as equals. My mother will surely love you. I want to build a happy family with you one day. Do you get my feelings? I don't need an answer because I already know how you feel. I love you, Mr. Hirose. I love you so, so much. This looks like a love letter, one that is addressed to a teacher. Freaking teacher. Ah, oh, the teenage years are a sensitive time with a lot of new hormonal changes. I can't be too judgmental about her feeling deeply in love. Yeah, that's why I blame the freaking teacher. Like, why are you giving her birthday presents? You're... Especially if you know she has feelings for you, you. Line, draw. Though the kid who wrote this seems to be quite the daydreamer. Oh, wrong voice. She's allowing her fantasies to warp reality. And that's a rough road to go down. The face is still there. I turn to the spot where the ghost was standing. Did Miho Shinji write this? How are we supposed to know Miho Shinji? I don't get it. I guess we were supposed to just guess it. Why are you taking damage from me now? Ugh. A sudden dizziness sends me reeling. <laughs> this feeling. No, wait. Oh my god, it's just one ghost after another. A vision is projected into my brain. I am so curious. I have a theory. It may be bunnies. Um, okay. So, I think the doll is trying to help us and the doll might be the student council president or it might be unrelated and miho is the bug girl <laughs> that doll is so pretty a vision is projected into my brain was this teacher like doing this to all the girls in my mind, I see three girls talking in what looks like the art room. Why'd you call us here, Manabe? I have a prep class soon. Quit your whining and read this letter already. That bitch slipped this into the teacher's sketchbook. S 
Seriously? Are they dating or what? What are you going to do, Manabe? You love him, don't you? He's gonna be hers at this rate. This teacher is clearly not doing something where he's leading these girls on. <laughs> and may, may, some of you might be like, why are you blaming the teacher? Look, I have been a teacher and I've been told many times that there's a line between being your stu the student's friends and being their teacher, okay? Like if, like, yes, you wanna be friendly with them because you care about them and you care about their, their futures, but like, you also want them to listen to you and take you seriously. But clearly this teacher fucking sucks. Ugh, shut up, I know that already. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna do the thing. For real? Both you and him are gonna be in deep shit if you do that. Oh, come on, Shinji. Manami's already made up her mind, you know? So the talkative girl must be Kay? We're her friends, so we should support her decision, right? Fine. Kamiyo and I will be hiding then. Make sure you're ready to capture the crucial moment, okay? Okay. This is how I'm gonna take him back from her. What do we do with this letter, though? Keep it, Shinji. We may be able to use it in case our plan fails. Okay. The vision fades, as does my dizziness. My heart rate is returning to normal as two, two. The three girls I saw now were Manabe, Kamio, and Shinji. Was that the scene from five years ago? Yashiki, you look pale. I'm fine, just feeling a little lightheaded. Rest for a moment if you're feeling unwell. Should I tell Damon about what I saw? I'm not entirely sure what was really happening though. I'll gather more information to avoid leading him down the wrong train of thought. Why are you not telling your friends, friends, dude? This should be gone if she's not mm -hmm. there anymore. Backing out of the gymnasium storage room. Oh, I see. I was like, where did that go? Oh, uh, and wait, uh, in from, and we gotta go to the library still, don't we? Wasn't there something in the library we needed? Or did we already get it? Oh, flowers, right, flowers. Flowers, flowers. Although I already looked one of it. Flower language was mentioned in the binder we found in the old building. Are there any books about floriography here? I didn't even know that's what you called it. Doot, doot, doot. Bingo! I grab a book about floriography from the shelf and look for the entries about hydrangea, bellflowers, and cosmos. Hydrangea. Blue flowers that bloom from early to midsummer. In floriography, it is used to indicate frigidity, regret, and capriciousness. Yeah. Bellflowers. Bluish purple flowers that bloom from summer to autumn. The floriography of the bellflower is unwavering love. Huh. Cosmos. Before modern day cultivars became predominant, cosmos were short day plants. So the white, peach, and red flowers bloomed in autumn. It's used to represent harmony and the pure heart of a maiden. Huh. This may be useful for our investigation. Let's borrow it. That's kind of confusing. I don't think we're supposed to borrow books without permission, but this time I'll make an exception. Oh, shut it with your rules. We're investigating a freaking ghost. Say, Yashiki, I think we've done a solid job of gathering information about Kashima. At this point, we might benefit from organizing our thoughts before continuing. How does that sound to you? Sure, let's go back to the infirmary and discuss what we learned with the others. That flower meaning's very confusing because, like, the middle one was, like, unwavering love. The first one was, like... Oh, no. uh, 
I don't understand flowers. They don't talk to me. Let's share all the information we've gathered so far with the other mark bearers. Okay, well, I actually think this is a very good spot to stop. Because we'll get a review next time. So I'll see you guys all next time. And Jenny.